A very good morning and welcome to this morning edition of Yes 101's Visual Radio. Bringing you the news, I'm Harshni Patrana. And before we take a look at your news in detail, let's take a look at your headlines first. News first headline. President warns against altering IMF agreements. Now Mount pledges debt-free economy in five years. 49 injured in Bibla bus collision, driver arrested. In international headlines, Israel refusing entry to medical teams working on polio campaign, says Gaza officials. And in your sports, it's cricket. Sri Lanka and England set for third test at the Oval with key squad changes. And now taking a look at your top story this morning, President Ranil Vikramasinghe has officially opened the mall, a newly constructed duty-free shopping complex in the Colombo Port City area. This marks the debut of the first urban de- duty-free shopping mall in the region, featuring a range of stores, restaurants and various retail outlets. Now, notable international duty-free retailers, including One World, China Duty-Free Group and Flamingo, will be operating within the mall, positioning the Colombo Port City as a premier shopping destination. Following the unveiling of a commemorative plaque and the official opening, the president embarked on an observation tour of the new complex. Sri Lanka's President Ranil Vikramasinghe said that recent strides towards economic stability have been made possible through concerted efforts and crucial support from international financial institutions. Now, he said that the agreements with the IMF, uh, the World Bank and the Asian Development Bank or the ADB and 18 lending countries have been instrumental in advancing the nation's economic program. The president said that maintaining these agreements without alterations is deemed essential for securing a prosperous future with any modifications, potentially jeopardizing ongoing progress and future prospects. In a significant boost to the economy, approximately 100 companies are currently focusing on the Port City project. Of these, 74 companies are expected to establish operations in Sri Lanka by the end of this year. Additionally, a new tourist zone will be established in Colombo Fort, which is anticipated to increase the number of visitors to these areas. To further develop the country, Vikram Singh has said it is essential to attract a large number of tourists and increase the revenue generated from them. Still in local news, now Naval Raj Baksha, the presidential candidate of the Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna, has announced an ambitious plan to build an economy capable of paying off the nation's debt within the next five years. Now, speaking to supporters, Rajapaksha outlined his vision for economic stability and growth, emphasizing the importance of agriculture, technology and tourism. Rajapaksha criticized the delays in projects such as Sampur Power Plant and Umaoya, which he attributed to previous government inefficiencies. He highlighted the need to provide farmers with essential resources, including water, technology and land solutions, to ensure that every possible crop is cultivated in Sri Lanka. He reiterated that agriculture remains the foundation of Sri Lanka with a focus on growing the food needed to sustain the population. In some tragic news, uh, a collision between two buses in the Nagala area in Bibila last night has left 49 people injured, according to the police reports. Now, the injured are currently receiving treatment, with one individual later transferred to Monaragala General Hospital for further care. The accident occurred on the Bibila Ampara Road when a private bus travelling from Bibila towards Ampara collided with a Sri Lanka transport bus following behind it. 
The private bus was transporting employees from a garment factory. Now, uh, the preliminary investigations by the police indicate that the accident happened when the private bus stopped to allow its passengers to disembark and the SLTB bus, unable to halt in time, crashed into it from behind. The driver of the SLTB bus uh, has been arrested in connection with the incident as the investigation continues. International News. And now taking a look at your international news for this hour. The World Health Organization said polio vaccinations have begun in Khan Yunis in the southern Gaza Strip. But the Palestinian Health Ministry said Israeli forces are refusing to coordinate the safe entry into the area for vaccination teams. The Health Ministry has called on concerned parties to intervene with Israeli authorities as more than 189,000 Palestinian children have been inoculated against the disease so far. Meanwhile, the UN said that more than 1 million Palestinians in Gaza did not receive food aid rations in August. And the humanitarian uh, situation in the war-torn territory is beyond catastrophic. At least 21 people have been killed in the most recent attacks on Gaza, including a deadly strike near the Kamal Adwan Hospital in the north. Sports News And we're finally taking a look at the sports update for this hour. The third test match between Sri Lanka and England will kick off today at the Oval in London. Sri Lanka have made two changes to their squad from the previous match, with Kusal Mendes returning to the team by replacing keeper Nishan Madushka. Additionally, fast bowler Vishwa Fernando will also replace spinner Prabhajai Surya in today's match. The match will begin at 3.30 p.m. Sri Lankan time today. And with that, we wrap up this morning edition of Yes 101's Wish World Radio. I'm Hashni Patrana. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more of the very latest.